event. And so one of those events um, was slated as uh, a striptease. There was going to be a striptease side attraction. And for those of us who were coming from humble and well-trained backgrounds, we had not seen striptease before, unless in movies. Okay. And so it was like, well, <laughs> if there's going to be a striptease, let all of us go. So we went there. We waited and waited, and this lady came on. Voluptuous lady. Nigeria. No, we don't know where the lady is from. Okay. I still owe the lady Ladies. a lot. Yes. I still owe the lady because she's, she jump-started my career in a way. Okay. Because there she was. She came on, took off the suit that she was wearing, the jacket, took off the blouse. The layers one by yes, one. Yes. And then she was wearing a petticoat. Okay. So the long one that looks like a dress and covered everything. Mm -hmm. And then she danced and then removed the petticoat and then turned around while she was back in the audience to remove the bra, okay. was swinging the bar and walked off the, the stage. stage. And students were like, could it talk? <laughs> you, can't, you can't be like that. <laughs> you have to show us everything. Might be sent on. <laughs> so while that commotion was going on, the organizers now said, well, there's this heckler that has been adding humor to the whole mm -hmm. event since. Let's get him to come and pacify everybody. So they got me backstage and said, please, talk to these people. A lot of them listen to you. Get them to just calm down. And let's get this show started. So I went to meet the girl. I said, can you come out and do this? She said she was scared because people were running on stage. And truly, yes, it was enough to scare her. And it was a fuss for most of them. Exactly. Some of them thought she was not human so they would run and go and touch okay. her as she's doing all of that and so she felt if she opened it would be beyond that it would just be it would just be crazy and so we listened to her i said okay you know what we'll do i'll go and pacify this so i went back on stage and started yabbing everybody plus student affairs officer plus deputy registrar plus dean and all of all those because some of them who came lecturers who came mm -hmm. had not seen the striptease before so the hall was packed. I've never seen it before. <laughs> <laughs> so in the in the process of yabbing them and the students went wild because nobody in the whole history of the school, I'm guessing. No, but nobody in the history of the school, Bendy State University of Puma, had had the guts to yab student affairs officer. To yab the because what well, the rank and file exactly. But I, I told the student affairs officer, I said, <laughs> student affairs officer, you are putting on with the students are losing weight. Are you sure you are not chopping our money? Students went gaga. Ga not far from the truth. Yes, be because it was not far from the truth. But everybody laughed at it, and when the students felt that I was on the in their corner, okay, it helped because what they now did was that and I told them to just calm down. I'm going to bring the lady back now. Let her come and do. So she came back on with just the petticoats and then removed it again, removed the bra, removed the pants, turned around, danced a bit and ran off the stage. School went gaga. And this was your first time on stage? It was my first time on stage. And surprisingly, it was my first time as an MC. As well? As well. Because the guy that was the MC you was... pretty much became... Yes, the Fidelis Blackboard, no, no, the Black Ball. And the Stella, O Stella, Ole. Mm -hmm. Those were the two MCs. So they now added me to the, yeah, so yeah. I was the tech. And we were using FM mics. You remember the FM mics with one small thing yeah, down the, the bottom, yeah. the bottom Those are the like first that. generation exactly, microphone, wireless, yeah, so, yeah. And it was square. Yes. So they brought one more extra, um, one FM more mic, mic FM mic. So I held the mic and we're talking. That's where radio mics actually. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. So I had one. And so as they were emceeing their event, I would chip in something. Everybody would laugh. So I told them, I said, I'll perform better from inside the audience. So that was where I sat. Okay. And so all through the event, and, cons and continuously, every other event that was held in school, Thereafter. that was what they called me for. So I always got tickets. So they'll say, yeah. how many people are coming with you? I said, maybe four. They'll give me four tickets or five. That was your payment. Like, exactly. I wasn't paid. And my first show that I was paid for was a show by Amarods. We called Mr. Bensu. Okay. And I was paid, it was, I was supposed to be paid... Uh, 10 naira and the guy gave me 5 naira when the event finished I called the guy the guy said they didn't make money so my first show was 5 naira the second show I got paid 10 naira the other one I got paid 20 naira and then gradually before the end of a semester I was in the 100 naira bracket bracket meanwhile my allowance in, in a month, month I was going to have naira. 
and my dad would also even squeeze me. Sometimes it won't come in that month. It will come the next month. Probably you were going to be okay anyway. But anyway, when I started making that kind of money, I didn't even bother. So that was how I started stand-up comedy.